Good morning, guys. I think uh, this might be set up a little crooked, so I kind of set up in a bit of a rush today. But uh, welcome to our free five-day energy accelerator challenge. I hope a lot of you are going to be in this with me. We're going to have lots of fun. It's a 10-minute workout every day. No equipment needed. Uh, you'll be able to follow along with me. I'll be doing it live in the group every single day. Um, <coughs> sorry, excuse me. Uh, be sure to have some water handy. We're going to do a really, really quick warm-up workout. It's going to be 10 minutes. Do a quick stretch. I'll also leave a link for you to do a little bit more of a stretch if you like. Um, and points are going to be awarded for participation, uh, for sharing uh, the group, and also, um, oops, what was that it? I think that's it. So, a couple of ways to do that. You can either post, I'm done on this workout once you've completed it. Bonus points for posting a selfie after you're done. Um, and I'll post all the rules for a little bit of clarity afterwards. Let's get right into it. We're just gonna do a really quick basic warm up before we work out today. So nice big reach, inhale up. Exhale, arms down. And again, breathing in. Exhale down. This time reaching up, fold forward if you can, just relax in it, don't worry if you can't reach the floor. And you're going to come all the way up, back down and sink into a bit of a squat if you can, open up to one side, other side, lift the hips, sink down again, open one side, other side, lift and lower, one more time. Left and lower, lift the hips and roll it up, and we're going to go elbow to knee. Just getting a little bit of movement here. It's pretty early in the morning. You could add this on to your regular workout of the day or do it as a stand alone, doesn't matter. Either way, you're still in. Okay, so I feel like we've got a little bit of movement happening. We're going to have four exercises. We're going for five rounds. We're going to do no breaks, but I want you to just go to your maximum effort. I'll try to throw out options um, for beginner and more advanced levels as we go. First exercise is going to be walkouts. So 30 seconds work. Let's go. Standing tall. We're going to fold forward. Walk out to plank. If you can walk a little further, walk a little further. All the way up, we're doing this for 30 seconds. If the walkout's too much, just forward fold and reach. That's gonna be your level one. Otherwise, I want you to walk out further. Level two would be just to the plank. Level three is gonna be all the way out if you can. Nice reach at the top. Okay, bringing it back up and going right into our second exercise, which is gonna be body weight squats, feet shoulder width apart. Inhale down, exhale up. Nothing too crazy. Making sure your heels stay down. Inhale as we drop down, exhale as we come up. Keep the chest lifted. Get those arms and balls reach and retract. Good, coming down to plank on the elbows. Hold it nice and strong, press the forearms down into the floor. If you're a beginner, you can drop to the knees as long as that core is strong. However, if you can, try to pop to the toes. Keep your neck nice and neutral, looking down towards your fists, pressing the forearms into the floor. Tighten the legs, tighten that core. Coming down for Superman, this is our last one of the day. Reach, pull if you can. Reach and pull. To make this easier, you can come down and lift up as you pull. If you can hold the lift, hold the lift. It's only 30 seconds. This is going to be round one. We're going to come back to standing on the next one. Go back to our walkouts. All the way up now. Walkouts round two, so big reach. Forward fold is your level one. Walk it out, all the way to plank, further if you can, and all the way up again. Nice big reach at the top. Keep 
working through it. Most important thing here is to make sure you're keeping that core nice and strong. Big reach. All right, coming up into our squats. So you can stick with the basics. If this is way too easy, then I want you to jump instead. Exhale up. You could do one jump, one squat as an option for something in between. Make sure you're landing softly if you're jumping and you can always go low impact if you prefer. Down to plank. Again, holding, pressing your forearms down, core is strong. Neck is neutral. Come to the knees if you need to. If you can keep your, on your toes, keep on your toes. And really focus on tightening up. Core strong, hips are tipped under slightly. Breathe through. Okay, back to that Superman. Reach and retract. Neck is neutral. Lift through the legs. If you need to take a break and release and come down, you can do that. Otherwise, hold the lift. Almost done round two. We'll have three more rounds to go. Just a little bit of movement to get that blood flowing, get you feeling good today. Okay, coming up, round three, walkouts. Bringing it down as far as you can. Core strong, all the way up. Making sure that you're keeping that core tight. We're not allowing the back to arch. So we're protecting the back by keeping the core active. Walk it out. And all the way up again. Okay, back to our squats. You can stick with the reach and retract here. Try to keep your chest up. So we're looking straight ahead. Notice that I keep that chest up. We're not tipping forward, stay up <laughs> or jump if it's too easy. <sighs> Exhale on the way up. Here's our plank, take it down on the elbows or forearms I should say. Keep that core tight, hold. Tighten everything up. Upper body is strong. Legs are strong. <sighs> Breathe through. <sighs> nice tight hold. <sighs> Take it down, Superman. Reach and retract to the arms. Lifting through the legs. Try to get your quads up off the floor if you can. Exhale, squeeze. Good, come on up, two more rounds. Walkouts, let's go. To plank, we're a little further. All the way up. Big reach, go again. And up. Almost there. Good. All right, to our squats. Either low impact, exhale up, keeping that chest lifted, keep the heels down. Jump, if that's too easy. We want to push a little bit. I don't want this to be too hard for you, but I want you to challenge yourself. Exhale up. Good, plank. Forearms are on the ground. Shoulders right over the elbows. Core tight, legs tight. Hold and breathe. A 
almost there. Nice and strong. Take it down. Super bad. Reach and pull. Keep it up. Lift those legs. Exhale as you squeeze. One more round. We're right back to those walkouts. This is the last time. We're almost done. Core stays strong. Level one is just that full. Level two, all the way to plank. Level three, further. Nice reach at the top every time. And here's our squats. Finish strong. Remember, this is the last round. Kennedy jumps right through. You can go low impact as needed. Chest is up. Heels stay down as you lower into your squat. Exhale as we come up. Good, take it down to our plank. Nice and strong. Make it as tight as possible. Keep holding. Almost there now. Tighten up. Superman, reach and retract. This is our last exercise. Keep that neck neutral. Exhale, squeeze the arms back, lifting through the legs. Keep breathing. Good. And that's that. That was our 10 minutes. Quick 10 minute workout. Number one for your energy accelerator challenge. I'm gonna do a real quick stretch here. And again, I'll post a little bit of a longer stretch link for you for those of you who want it. Reach forward. Sitting on the heels, relaxing down into child's pose. If you can't sit on the heels, that's fine. Just do what you can. Take a couple nice breaths here. I'm gonna take one arm, thread it underneath, and lead into that shoulder. Other side. Reaching under. Back to center and we're going to roll it up. Take one foot forward, tuck the hips under. So we're stretching your hip flexors. Open up your arms. Pull the shoulders down. Release that, straighten the front leg, hips back. So a nice hamstring stretch. Always just want slight tension here. It shouldn't be painful. And switch. Tuck the hips under, clasp behind. Making sure the hips are under so we get that hip flexor stretch. Get straight up front leg, hips back. From there, we're gonna bring the feet together and pop into forward fold, relax the upper body. Release that low back. Feel the stretch in the back of the legs. Roll it up slowly. Chin stays tucked until we're to the top. And a nice big reach. Deep breath in. Press it up. And let it all go. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you are feeling energized and ready to take this week on. Any questions, comments, please do not hesitate to contact me. I am here to help. We'll see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.